um, he manages to find some other people that will help him out. Um, again, it, you know, it's not going to have a happy ending, uh, but it's a beautiful film, um, beautiful use of color and, and um, beautiful music. Um, it's a slow movie, uh, but I think it works that way. And, it, and it, maybe it's a film you have to watch more than once. I'm, I'm not sure, but um, I like it a lot. But I, I like a lot of Kurosawa's films, so that's Ron. So this one is one of his films that he made um, when he was starting out. Um, this is Stray Dog. Um, oh, and, and I'm sorry. Um, Kage Musha comes with, again, like like the other Criterions, it comes with a nice booklet here. And those are, that, that's painting or charcoal or whatever by uh, Kurosawa himself. He wanted to be a painter before he became a director. Um, and he, he did these nice illustrations for the movie that were, you know, inspiration for the movie. So, you know, like, like that one, right? Let's see. Like that one right there. Anyways, uh, like Samurai. And then, uh, let's see, what we got for Ron? Got this nice, beautiful looking booklet. And we got Hidatori Ichimanji there. Nice picture of one of his sons, see? Another picture. Um, this Ron, by the way, they don't make this anymore. Uh, this was printed by Studio Canal, and most of Studio Canals that came out on Criterion were French movies, but there were a few that were other countries. This was one of them, which was Japan. And another one was The Third Man by Carol Reed, which is a British movie, which I do have. Um, and I do have um, some of the other Studio Canals that are French that they've discontinued them. So, you know, like, you know, if you want to find them on um, Criterion, you're out of luck. You, you basically have to look like Amazon and not cheap, you know. So that, that's also the case with any other criterions that are out of print that are not studio canal, you know, are, you know, are in some other type of category They're They're not cheap, you know, um, like my third man. Um, I believe I bought it with the Barnes and Noble criterion sale it was just 50% off. And, um, in that particular case, um, Maybe I paid twenty dollars, and I think it was forty originally. But now, if you buy it, buy it off of Amazon, maybe it's like eighty, sixty, hundred dollars. I don't know. It's it's a lot of money. So, yeah, you got to save on those things. I'm sorry, but uh, I'm sorry, I'm digressing here and going back and forth. I'm trying to do it as best I can. But, anyways, here we got Stray Dog, which is like a detective kind of movie about a, about a Guy who loses his gun. It's got Tashir Mifuni in one of his early roles with uh, Takashi Shimura. Great actors, you know, they, they've done a lot of great work in Kurosawa's films. No, the glare is just terrible in this. The shiny, pa shiny paper right there. Well, you know, just a lot of things there. But this is about a you know a detective that loses his gun. I can't remember this film too well. Um, maybe it's one of Kurosawa's lesser movies. But anyways, that's Stray Dog. And this one 
is one of his most acclaimed and what brought him to like uh, international fame. And it's pretty different from the other Kurosawa films because it's like um, most of Kurosawa films are like narrative films. You know, with Criterions, you get films that are very avant-garde. You, you get, you know, all kinds of movies. Some of them are narrative, you know, but um, Kurosawa is basically a narrative filmmaker. Um, and yeah, he was an artistic director with his films as well. But, you know, this is really very artistic and it's Rashomon, um, which is about an incident in a, in a forest with a courtesan, I think she's a courtesan, or princess, and a samurai, and a bandit that takes place in the forest, and there's people that see this event, and they have differing accounts of what happened there. Um, the woman is raped, I believe, and the man, the samurai is killed, but you don't know exactly who's telling the truth, and um, all these figures that that tell the story appear before a court they're they're on the ground in Japanese style you know you know sitting on the on the ground, but you never see the judges they're just the the actors are facing the camera, so in a way you're look maybe we're the judges I'm not sure, but anyways, this is Rashomon. and uh, yeah that's. There's a Kurosawa there, and I think the act actress is Michiko Kyo, if I'm not mistaken. They do a beautiful job with these uh, books. You know, I wish I could tell you that I've read all these 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 books that come with the Criterions, but I haven't. I, I, maybe I'm just lazy. I don't know. I've read some of them, but. Um, It's Rashomon. Next up is my personal favorite. My personal favorite of, of Kurosawa's. It's one of my favorite films of all time. And it's it's um probably my favorite Japanese film. I like a lot of Japanese films. And I have a lot of Japanese films. But this one is... If I had to choose a favorite, I really had to choose one. It's Throne of Blood. And... Um, Anyways, comes with, again with a nice booklet, and um, I, I I specifically bought this one this year because it it included the documentaries that come with most of the Kurosawa films, which are is that wonderful create series and. I really love this film. I'd really love to know how it was made. So that's why I bought it. So I have I have two editions now. I have the old DVD that came with a trailer and two different subtitles and um, a commentary. But this one comes with an additional thing, which is the documentary. And I'd really like to see that. So I'm going to get rid of the other one. Um, anyways, there's a, there's a few other films I want to get rid of that I got... Um, criterions of um because you know i felt they were much better ways of getting information or you know like getting other things like fossbenders beware of a holy whore i got um a box that included more of movies so that was a better deal i think and then i got um la note by antonioni and i you know from watching both of those movies i didn't realize that there were like two shots that that started at on the Criterion version, that were the first two shots, and the one I owned previously, the first shot was actually the third shot that started the film, so I'd like to get rid of that one, too. Um, anyways, that's Drawn of Blood. Oh, and it's based off of Hamlet, and it's just, it's just a brilliant movie. It's just like, um, it's got, um, it's got, um, like a nice no, I think, or something, like, this chanting, you know, like, um, ambition will lead you to the grave, you know, like, uh, drive for power will just drive, you know, lead you to death, you know, and, and, and the Isuzu Yamada character is, is, be is just a great actress, she's, um, she plays the Lady Macbeth character, and there's like a great scene where she, um, 
thinks she has blood on her hands, but she doesn't, and she's just washing her hands with water. And um, there's this great thing that the witch says in the forest. She says, as long as the forest doesn't move, you will never be defeated. It's a be really beautiful film. I don't, I don't want to spoil it too much, but um, you just see these limbs moving in the fog. You see these arrows being um, thrown... Uh, um, pointed and, and thrown at, at to Sheriff Mifuni at the end of the film. It's just a